Wind turbines have a sort of industrial beauty, but behind their simple elegance is a strong foundation and intelligent design. Let's take a look at how these prairie powerhouses are built. The wind turbines owned by Basin and Electric subsidiaries stand 262 feet tall. Their height and weight are supported by spread footer foundations. They're nine and a half feet deep, 50 feet round, and have more than 320 yards of concrete reinforced with 2,400 linear feet of rebar. The concrete is poured in three lifts. First, a two inch thick mud mat. This second pour that's happening right now is approximately 280 yards of concrete. It's done in one continuous pour. Uh, they like to be able to unload the trucks in about 10 minutes, so 280 yards of concrete is 28, 29 truckloads full. The third lift is the pedestal with 40 more yards of concrete. Ideally, we would wait 28 days for the concrete to be fully um, fully cured and have the maximum compressive strength. Obviously we don't need to wait that long because the, the down tower assembly and the base don't have the full load of the turbine. So you could put up a turbine from base to uh, top in about 30 days. The brain of the turbine, the down tower assembly, is installed. Then the base, then the midsection. A larger crane is used for the top section, nacelle, and rotor. The nacelle houses the gearbox and the generator. The rotor is assembled on the ground. Each blade is more than 120 feet long and weighs 14,000 pounds. They're secured to the hub and the entire assembly is lifted into place. It's basically a big kite, so if there's too much wind, um, the rotor can actually start swinging and hit into the tower. Miles of buried power cable connect the turbines to each other and to the substation. This is called the collector system. Fiber optics for the communication system, or SCADA, are buried too. The SCADA system takes over 300 points in the turbine, uh, measuring oil levels and temperatures and voltages. And basically those 300 points are looking for a reason to shut the turbine down. If there's a problem with any of these points, the SCADA system will automatically turn the, turn the tower off and then send a message back to our control center that can either be here on site or in the Bismarck headquarters. Each turbine is inspected and tested by the turbine manufacturer before it's ready to put power on the grid. With careful planning, good weather and hard work, projects like Prairie Winds 1 or Crow Lake can be ready to operate in five or six months. Workers reclaim the turbine sites and reduce the width of the access roads over the next several months. Less than a year after the first dirt is dug, the trucks and cranes are gone, and the turbines are busy catching the prairie wind. For Basin Electric, I'm Erin Huntimer.